hello friend in this video we will discuss how to make the model transparent so while working in the assembly sometimes we need the transparent model to see the inside component or the inside assembly so for that uh, uh, you need to go into view and here in the model display you can see the component display style okay it is now uh, inactivate but you can click the component first so now I want this part to be transparent okay so you can go into view select the first part go into view and select the model display and go into component display now it is activated and here you can see the transparent okay transparent option is there okay you can click on the transparent and you can see the inside assembly or the component like this okay now here you can see these uh, types of colors is there means it is completely mating with each other you can visualize this one and you can visualize the inside components of this assembly but this change is not a permanent change and if you save this one okay if you save okay I saved this one and uh, cancel and it is not display done I will open again this more assembly okay okay I opened this assembly but that uh, transparent is not saved here okay this trans if you if you click on this part view and transparent here you can go into transparent okay so this model is in transparent but in in session only we can see the transparent this is not a permanent uh, transparent model if you want the transparent model permanently so I'll click here okay I'll show the shaded view okay okay this is the shaded view if you want the permanent uh, transparent model then you need to go into view, uh, appearance okay you need to transparent color you need to activate so for that uh, I'm click uh, I'll click on this component here and transparent and first apply the apply the uh, color first so this is the color suppose okay I'll apply here okay I'll apply here the new color this one suppose and I'll click here and go here and say edit after edit you can see here the class type here you can see the class here class type glass okay and you can see here this transparent okay the transparency is set you can change the transparency okay you, you can see here like this okay but here I'll recommend here about 90 okay so that it is uh, transparent is visualized okay about 90 you can pick so 90 okay 95 percent you can uh, pick the transparency okay and in this way you can this is the permanent change now you can save the model okay I saved the model here okay model has been saved now cancel this one say it is not display and open okay and say assembly now you can see here this is the permanent transparent model now because we saved the model if you don't want this one as a transparent you can click on the model go to view and appearance and this is our model okay edit and see here generic okay and after that generic say metal okay metal and after that you can say generic okay so now this model is a is in the uh, shaded solid okay so like that you can say that my transparency okay and uh, if you if you don't want the permanent then you can see it from here okay and if you want the permanent means uh, permanent uh, transparent model then uh, you can go to appearance and change the into glass and transparency and if you don't want the permanent uh, transparent model uh, just only to visualize the assembly only purpose only at that time you can use the component display style okay click on the component and component display type okay just to visualize the components okay so this is the uh, lesson learned from my side friend so uh
if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel see you in the next video thank you for watching